Ah, Leisure Suit Larry. If you're older than 18, you probably are familiar with this game in some way or another. When the game first came out, we were nothing more than little embryos, but as we got older, we remember our dads having copies of the OG game back on the PS2. We would see our dad playing this odd game and thought, oh, that's super cool, I want to play it too. And our mom would later catch us playing it by ourselves, and our dad would hear all about it after he got done work. Then, because he got it talking to, we would get it talking to about not playing dad's games. See, my household was different. I remember my first game was Mortal Kombat 2. My parents never cared about an age rating on games. Besides Leisure Suit Larry, my parents were the cool parents though. I would be playing games like Manhunt and GTA. In retrospect, I probably am very grateful that I didn't turn out to be a psychopath. Especially if you believed anything the news was saying at the time about violent video games. So when I heard of dad's games, I thought they had to be special, but until recently, I had completely forgotten about them until one day I was browsing through the PlayStation Store because I was bored to see Leisure Suit Larry Wet Dreams Don't Dry. As you probably already know from the title, we are going to be platinuming this game. 10.4% of the players earned a Platinum Trophy Rockstar, which is surprising because there's only 32 trophies and they're relatively easy to get, sure you can miss them. But anyway, as soon as you start the game, you pretty much have a whole segment where you have to prove that you are older or old enough to play this game. And, well, I'll ask you weird questions, like in which superhero movie did the protagonist have nipples? Uh, who was elected Chancellor of Germany in 1998? I have no idea. Thank God there is a skip button for this. We also get our first trophy for starting the game. This fine gentleman right here tells us about a prophecy, and it's all about Larry Laffer. Speaking of Larry Laffer, he wakes up in this dark, decrepit place where we have to use this elevator to get out. Also, we learn that he's been asleep for a long time. Larry Laffer! As soon as we enter at lefties, we actually get another trophy, which is, don't call it time travel. Larry, first thing he does after waking up is trying to make some move on a girl, and for some reason he does this weird laugh every time he says his name. I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. After a lot of random dialogue that I didn't care about, we meet up with Lefty, and Lefty immediately roasts us, and he hurts my feelings IRL. You still look like a virgin. <laughs> Lefty ends up making us and Becky a drink, which we give her, and it makes Larry very sick, but he also hears this weird buzzing coming on. Well, it's a Pi phone. It's a prototype Pi phone, and she wants us to take it to the Prune headquarters. Uh, we let Becky know... Pretty much we let her know to go fuck herself. And we end up taking an Uber, which they call it an Unter for some reason, and we head on to the Prune Institute, I think that's what it's called. And well, it looks very suggestive. You do realize this thing looks more like a pink. Larry hits this woman that immediately sees with the slickest, slickest of pickup lines. Uh, <laughs> I'm name. Uh, what's your Larry? Um, what? For retrieving the prototype, we end up getting a Pi Phone voucher. This voucher gives us a Pi Phone and a trophy. Even if I did hear that a new model is going to be released very soon. <laughs> These Discord mods are going to actually help us make a Timber account, which is just a parody of Tinder. And the reason we're doing that is because Faith wants us to get 90 Timber points, so our goal is to date as many women as we can. And also, we end up going back to the bar, meeting Becky, where she does this for me. Then click on subscribe below, and write in the comments where you're partying hard today. <laughs> yep, that's Becky. And also, don't forget to smash that motherfucking link. <laughs> Alright, anyway, we pretty much need to get the one nerd guy used panties, so we have to give uh, Becky panties because, well, she's pooping herself, as you can tell. Yes, I can't believe I said that seriously in a video, pooping yourself. And we have to give the other guy toilet paper, but we have to make the toilet paper really fresh. So we end up giving him the toilet paper, and they end up making us a timber profile, because Larry is old, and he's from the 80s, he has no idea how to use it, and this is what our profile picture looks like. Oh shit!
Anyway, our thing is set to buy, so we see guys. We have Dick Ryder, Anti Dick and Me, 31. Yes, these are creative names. Aaron Brooks, okay, a normal name. All right, not too bad. So we do what everybody does on a dating app. You immediately swipe right on everybody, every time. Get all them likes. We get three matches. One is with Aaron. Aaron is a cam model, and she wants us to do a bunch of tasks for her. We meet Dick Ryder. <laughs> oh, man, they did a great job naming him that. And we meet Lima, who's a rock star guitarist. Anyway, all these people give you trophies. For instance, dating Aaron and dating Lima. You can't miss these, but we're going to get a couple trophies like Lazy Bones, which is just getting the posters that you need from Lima and throwing them in the trash. I don't want to throw that away. Alright, you also get another trophy for finding this little guy right here. I'm censoring the hell out of it, but pretty much you get a trophy for finding him. Boom, that's it. We meet Lance and Becky. Uh, Lance is going out with Becky, and well, there's a lot to Lance, and pretty much... Larry's kind of a savage because they think Becky thinks that she roofied him and also we get our date with Aaron and we get that trophy Hi, that must be a quantum leap for the temper points. Well Anyway, we go back to Lima and we get our date with Lima for helping her out and well we get the trophy for that Anyway, we eventually help Lima with her rock concert, which is the official date with her and Larry. I don't know how this counts as a date, but she wants us to meet us at the Hell's Pond so she can get it on with Larry. Yes, sir. We also meet Dick Ryder there. Can't ever get over the name of that, of that guy. Anyway, speaking of Dick, we meet, we meet Dick. And, well, Dick wants us to have a little date in the dark room with them. But Lance has a VIP ticket. We get that off of him. And we actually talk to Lima and Aaron. Well, they talk to each other. And we don't say anything to get a trophy. The two of them are chatting so intensely that I'd be better off not interrupting. That'd be great. The city can be pretty intimidating. Alright, this is where you can actually miss to a trophy here. It's missable. So what you do is you save the game after entering the dark room, and you have to choose Lima and Aaron or Dick. Obviously, you know which one I choose first, but we also, before encountering that, you see a strange figure, and it turns out it's our boy, Lefty. Larry, I am your father, not Lefty. Absolutely. But here, I can always find fresh ingredients for my brewing experiments. Wait a minute. Uh, you mean you... Uh, of course. I think I'm... Uh, that's my... In this moment, if you do not have a save and you beat the game, you have to go all the way back to this point and you have to do the other option. Thankfully, we save so we can just do both and we end up getting both trophies in this segment. I'm back, ladies. Okay, but I want to be the big spoon this time. Defaultly, the cops will always show up and you'll end up getting a trophy called Busted, but you also get a really funny slideshow depending on what you do. This is another trophy that you can miss where you have to say it was dark, I was drinking over and over again, and you'll end up getting another trophy. As a private investigator without a license? It was dark, and I've been drinking. Faking the qualification as an internet technician. It was dark, and I've been drinking. Creating a rift in the space-time continuum by ignoring the canon of the predecessors. In our soulmate, we meet Tiff, and Tiff is a drag queen, which she is important later on, but Tiff wants us to give them a cavity search. Side note, if there's like a weird camera angles here and there, that's because that's me trying to censor it so I don't get strike. That's pretty big. Oh, you scoundrel! I'm a virgin! Hey, me too! Like, it's my zodiac sign. You have cold hands, and so wet, and... What is that? Our boy Dick is a real one, he actually bails us out of jail, pays for the bail, and then he also sets us up with a Timber account. While I go back to Hell's Pond to grab some items, I actually find a binding of Isaac Easter Egg, which I just thought was cool. Instead of doing us dirty, Dick actually does us really good. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> anyway, we have to- a bunch of dates we have to go on to. For instance, there's so many achievements like Date Nari, Help Lance, Date Diana, and Date- on you, I think that's how you say her name. Anyway, there's another achievement for talking to Lefty and asking him how the future's like. What else? I think I've told you everything you need to know. 
There's actually an underground tunnel that's inside this washing machine in Lefty's bar. We go into it and we get a bunch of dialogue. If you say, roll the die and try to sneak past the troll, you get a trophy for that. Take the die and try to sneak past the troll. You have to roll for dexterity, Larry. Anyway, the tunnels lead to Tiff's jail cell. This will be useful later, but in the meantime, we talk to Lance, and, well, we have to convince Lance to come out of the closet and to not be so scared. It reminds me of a certain scene. I am not gay. I have relationships with women and sex with men. And I got news for you. That means you're gay. I'm gay! After convincing Lance to come out of the closet, he wants us to help him, but in the meantime, we talk to Diana. Then we go back to help Lance, where he threw the ring that Dick gave him in the river. We find that ring, and we have to arrange a marriage for them. That's his plan. So we talk to Tiff, who's actually an ordained minister, I guess. I don't know. Fun fact, IRL, I am an ordained minister, because I registered online. Anyway, we get probably the sweetest and the most wholesome scene in this game, ironically enough, which I was not expecting, and we get a trophy a little later on for helping Lance out. I'm using a guide the entire time to help me what to do, so that'll be linked below, but we get the trophy for helping Lance. Well, Pi, I should have pretty close to 90 timber points now, shouldn't I? Diana wants us to get a place so her and Larry can have some alone time for their date, quote unquote. But in the, we don't have one yet, so we go to Ming Young Dong, and while Larry says the most hilarious thing he can. Uh, what's your name? Mi Young Dong. Dong? Didn't you say you didn't have one? You can't keep getting away with it! So Nari, funny enough, thinks that we're cosplaying as Larry Laffer, even though we are Larry Laffer. Larry Inception. Really funny and really ironic. So we pretty much end up going up to the thing, doing a bunch of tasks for Nari, and one of them is to do these test experiments, but the prototype phone that we got from the beginning doesn't want to die. So therefore we help it out. Anyway, Nari wants us to get a cassette tape for her, which we have to go back to this bunker from the beginning of the game. Well, not the cassette tape, a video game, an old video game. And we end up going back there to look for it. Well, this is the coolest part of the game because there's a bunch of crazy stuff going on. We learn about the scientists they were conducting this weird experiment and we can only speculate that Larry was the insane experiment that got free and killed all the scientists right well we don't know that at all so what the game does is kind of just drops it and never goes and talks about it again which is really disappointing but we end up getting the video game that Nari wants and we end up talking to Lefty after by cassette tape I mean the game that Nari wants. Anyway, we head to Lefty's. He wants us to give him a bunch of ingredients for his brew. After we give him all of it, we get an apartment or his place, which Aaron was, where now it's ours. So now we can go and date Diana, and Diana wants us to hook up, but she's listening to this watch and her arc or whatever the hell. Pretty much that just never happens. Larry is very unlucky, but we end up getting a trophy for dating Diana at this point, and the next would be Nari. For some reason, Nari really likes Larry because she thinks he's a super nerd, even though Larry has no idea what's going on 9 times out of 10. So I have to censor a lot of this, by the way. And we go on a date with Nari, and this ends up happening. Oh, how was it with your girlfriend? I don't want to talk about it. Ah, it couldn't have been that bad. Come on, sit down. No, thanks. I'd rather stand. I can hardly wait to hear my new tip. Anyway, our next date is Anya, and she wants us to download a bunch of stuff from Prune Headquarters. So, since Nara's gone, we can do that with ease. But for some reason, the assistant, not, uh, Nari's assistant, is dead. Um, the game forgets about it, so we're gonna forget about it. Anyway, headed back to Anya, we give her the data shard, or data disk, or flash drive. The flash drive! Uh, we give her the flash drive where she calls us to let us know that she talked to Bill Jobs. Bill Jobs drops his security card to get into Prune's headquarters where it has all the sensitive information because he's an idiot. And this is actually where you get a trophy here. If you have the clippers at this point, use these and you clip, you use it on the beards of the hipsters right here. No, I don't think that's a very good idea. Alright, this is a easily missable... If I didn't have a guide, I would have missed this trophy 110%. Pretty much, you go with Anu to the headquarters, where she says, 
low, we gotta hack it and get the server up. So, at this point, you say this dialogue, the boss key is to control B, then you have to hold, hold or press and hold L2, R2, L1, R1, left three, L3, R3, to get a certain thing to pop up. I didn't know that at all. If I didn't have a guide, I would've never got this trophy. So, after doing that, you should get a unique uh, pop-up screen and a trophy. Anyu, for some reason, wants to do something with Larry, which I'm just gonna let her explain. You know what? I have this urge to abuse BJ's desk. You wanna mess up the papers? I wanna have wild sex on his desk. Once again, I'm going to censor the hell of this slide, but I just find it funny that Larry's just a horn dog. He really just wants to get it in, but an elevator cock blocks him. And funny enough, it's his lover, Faith, the one chick that he's, we've been doing all this timber stuff for. That pretty much concludes Anyu's little quest, and we end up getting the trophy for dating Anyu. Don't know how it's a date. She hung up. Huh. Now that I've gone on all my dates, Alright boys, we're in a long stretch. There's like a couple achievements like done for beating the game and thanks for the cactus that we do. Anyway, Larry like an idiot falls to, somehow he doesn't die, falls down into Bill Jobs' presentation. The phone blows up and we go into the 8-bit mode, where in the 8-bit mode we end up getting another trophy for meeting the President of the United States. So, can you guess what they did for this game when you go in here, and who's the president at the time? Of course, it's the boy Donald Trump, and you unlock a funny trophy. So Larry wakes up from his little daydream nap of where he's an 8-bit self again, and well, Faith and Bill Jobs are going on a boat somewhere, and well, Larry has 90 tinder points at this point, and so he jumps into the boat, and he gets very distracted by making a blow-up doll that he has fun with, quote-unquote, and that gives us a trophy. This is the longest I've ever held out with an artificial woman, and she seems to have enjoyed it. Larry, finally arriving at his destination, finally show up to the final point in the game. Man, it took me forever to get to this point. Anyway, Lefty's here, which is funny because he's everywhere you go. And we have to prove to the one guy that we are the person from the prophecy, and we end up doing so and getting a trophy in the process. He is the man in white. Anyway, our one friend gives us a cactus, which ends up making us trip balls, and we <laughs> we have the most crazy, bizarre adventure in the meantime, and we get a prophecy, a slideshow of what could happen to Larry, where pretty much this mansion blows up, then we get the trophy, thanks for the cactus. So it turns out Faith is the bad guy all along, and she manipulates Bill Jobs, and she's his front man. Yada yada yada. We don't care. We're playing Leisure Suit Larry. We're just trying to get into Faith's pants. That's Larry's goal. Anyway, we escape. The mansion explodes, and we end up telling Faith, "Hey, watch out for this item, or it's going to kill you." And we actually save her life, and we get a little cute little scene where pretty much Faith falls in love with Larry. What it seems like. The, almost a happy ending until something crashes down and hits her in the head regardless of your choice getting us the trophy for beating the game oh new matches on timber just leave it larry so another trophy you have to get is just to watch the end credits at this point i was mentally dead as i normally am but way worse so i went to go take a crap and we end up getting the trophy Then there's the trophy from the beginning where you have to actually beat the quiz, which we end up doing that. Now that we beat the game, we get another trophy for trying to refund the game, and sadly we could not do that at all, but we got a trophy in the process. Alright, the last two are the ones I forgot to mention for the story one. Pretty much, you end up just like making a bird poop into Becky's coffee and chasing off Lance. That gives you a trophy for some reason, called It Wasn't Me. Then there was another one with Dick. <laughs> and that's it. Oh 
Was this game a special game from back in the day? Did it live up to my childhood nostalgia? Is it worthy of the praise? No. This game actually is not bad, but since I got on the discount, I like it way more. Now, I'm actually working on a stay out of the house video, so stay tuned for that. I'm actually really excited for that because I had so much fun playing it, and I'm going to have so much fun editing it. This video took me way too long to make for what it was, but I hope you guys enjoyed regardless. Till next time. Bye! We lost Dr. Combo, we gotta go, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Saved my life so many times. <laughs>